So let's talk about filing. We have the three nails that are natural overlay, the acrylic with the tip, and then the nail four. So basic files that you want to use, I have a standard 100, 180, 180 side. This is the 100 side. I have a regular 100, but we have it in a different shape. Gives you a little bit more gripping when you're trying to file the nail. And then I have a 240 which is matched with the buffer side. I use this one to file on top of the nail to get a nice smooth finish. So what I would do first off is I'm gonna start off with my 100 side. And I'm going to hold my file at an angle. I'm not straight, I'm not flat. I'm at an angle and I'm gonna tilt their finger so I can see where I'm going. And what I would do is hold this part back of the skin so I'm not cutting her and I'm gonna file lightly on the side. Turn the hand, let the client work for you. Turn the hand, opposite side, I'm holding here. I'm not holding here, I don't need a tight grip, I'm not all the way here. I'm right in the middle of my file so I have control of it. Same thing at an angle. I'm gonna file the side thin, turn the hand downward, and at a straight angle, I'm going to make sure I, because I have an oval shape, I need to be able to just kind of perfect the shape. Always do a little on this side, a little on this side. Never file a lot on one side and then a lot on the other side. So I do three strokes here, I'm gonna do three strokes here until I get it to where I need to be. Like a Violin, hold the nail upward so I can file underneath. Make sure it matches. Now I have a good shape. Moving on, same thing for square. I'm going to turn this finger to the side. File a little bit here, a little bit there. Always add an angle. Always hold for longer nails. You always want to give support and hold the client's hand on the nail. Always support the nail. In this scenario, my finger is going to fall off, but we want to support the nail when you have any type of length with your finger so that pressure doesn't hurt them. Once I see that my side walls are lined up, now I can go ahead and get at a straight angle and make sure it's perfectly square. Hold it down. Hold the side of the finger. And slowly this. We don't file like this. I never want to see you doing that. This is damaging to the nail and it could help the nail lift a little bit. We always want to file like this. You should file so that you can see what you're doing. My files shouldn't be like this. If I'm filing like this, I can't see what I'm doing. If I file like this, I'm going to start to get a rounded edge. Somebody wants square? Get the square. Hold it downward so you can see. A little here, a little there. Now I have a nice square shape. Same thing for this coffin one. This is the one that would have the form. So I'm going to go ahead on the side. Make sure my side walls good. Other side. File. For this shape, I'm going to come up a little bit. I have a little bit of acrylic underneath. So in order to do that, I'm gonna support her finger and I'm gonna get rid of that by doing this. By doing this, it's also gonna help me match this side wall. I'm gonna hold the finger up, tilt it, make sure the same thing's going on on the other side. Now I'm gonna take my file come back, that downward motion, a little here, a little there, and we have a little ballet slipper shape, so I'm going to a little bit more narrow. If you ever want to make your nail more narrow, we come in a scooping motion. Ideally, I would recommend using the 180 side because you don't want to do that too much. Or if you're using colored acrylic, it will take away the color. So if I wanted her nail to appear more narrow, because what we don't want to do is file, especially when you have coffin and you have stiletto nails. We don't want to make it too thin 
right where the free edge begins. So you can have a really narrow nail, but that doesn't mean I have to file, file, file so much away. I can make it appear more narrow by just slowly brushing downwards. And what I'm doing is I'm going in a scooping motion. You see where my file's hitting? I'm only hitting the edge. If you wanna do the whole nail, that's fine. Other side, holding it like this, scooping motion. This is going to make the nail appear narrow, but I'm not taking anything away from here. That's the support. So now that I have my shaping gun, I'm gonna go ahead with my 240. And for this, it's super soft and light. I'm gonna go ahead and file it on top. Just to make sure I don't have any bumps, I go ahead with that scooping motion. I'm gonna go with 240. File down in that scooping motion. So again, I'm kind of coming down. I'm holding the nail at this angle. I wanna make sure. I have a nice C curve, so I can file like this. I can file downwards. I want to get by the cuticle. I'm going to go real slow. I don't want to cut, even though this is sensitive, I don't want to cut the client. And I'm going to go ahead and just make sure this is nice and smooth. Same thing with this square nail holding. And it's just file. Same way, same thing. A little on the left, a little on the right. Never too much on one side. Swoop down. Just make it a little bit more narrow. And come down on this side. Can you see how I can already sell? Because if you go like this with your file and you still see little areas that aren't as catchy, then that means that your file didn't hit it and it's not. Always look at your nails from all angles. Again, I'm gonna look from this side, then look from the front. I'm gonna hold it from this angle and make sure everything is even. And there's nothing wrong with feeling your nail. Take your finger, feel, make sure you still see any bumps. Same thing with this nail. Bow up. Hold it down. Coming down with a swooping motion. Supporting the finger. Come down. Make sure the shaping is good. And like I said, if you use a very light file, this is 240. This doesn't really do much, but that's what you want. You have more control and leave less abrasive grit, um, grit files. If I were to do this with the 100, it would go so quick, I would probably mess it up. So now that everything's shaped good, small my buffer. Well, how we buff is we hold our buffer by the side. Two fingers on the side. The soft open part, if you have a buff like that, faces the client so it does not cut well. So I'm gonna support her hand. I'm gonna file on the top, file on the side, turn her finger, buff this way, hold it this way. So now we have the rough part on the end. Hold the finger up. That gets rid of all the little fuzzies that you have to and then refine your shape. You don't wanna do this too much. Because this will take away, like, let's say someone has a cough and a stiletto nail, doing that can mess up the shape. So you want to do that very lightly. Same thing with this one. A little on top, a little downward, or like this. Going downward gives you more control. Slow, steady. Hold it up, get underneath. This one. Okay. With my nail brush. We have three file nails. Stay tuned next week, and I'll be doing a three part nail art series Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Please subscribe and look out for those videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.